We in the same? Are we good? Yes, we are. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous, darling. I am feeling great today. Make sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also, make sure to follow me on all of my social media, at Miss TP90, especially over on Instagram. Last night, I did my first Instagram Live, and I had a blast. I'm not sure when I'm going to do my next Instagram Live, but make sure you follow me over there because I'll be posting over on Instagram doing an Insta story to let you guys know when I'll be doing it. This this way if you missed it you can come on through and I've received so many nice comments from you guys today basically saying how much you enjoyed it how you found it inspirational and I was like for real it's just me I'm thinking I'm just talking and sharing my story and somebody's inspired by it so that's such a huge blessing if you're on Instagram make sure to put your handle down below this way I can start following you because I've been following a lot of people lately and I want to continue doing that you've seen the title correctly we are getting into this love and hip-hop finale and child um they went ahead and posted part one of the reunion so that video will be out right after this one let's go ahead and get into this love and hip-hop finale monice and miss nikki baby they're burying the hatchet well they're not besties though but they burying the hatchet because they were on some petty little bullshit in my opinion to go see tt while she's in treatment honey tiara marie is snatched honey because she ain't had shit else to do in treatment and she is clear as a bell but she also getting real real antsy and that's normal while you're in treatment because you getting all them toxins out of your body everything is getting real real clear you thinking what the hell was i doing uh-uh some people got to get cut even y'all go get got i was like tiara chill girl calm down you need somebody to pick your ass up when you get on out of here even monice was like well i mean if i did call something i'm okay with stepping back i was like good monice lately this season i've really been liking you you've really been taking your eight breaths <laughs> Before you say something, he was like, well, I didn't do nothing, but I'll take a step back to shit. Good job, TT. And I was like, yeah, support y'all, friend, go support. I'm here for Tierra having the two S's, honey, being sober and being snatched. I'm here for I really want Tierra Marie to win because it was heartbreaking seeing her this season. It really was. And last season, it was just heartbreaking. So I'm glad that the production team was like, let's pull her to the side, honey. We need to intervene. Everybody needs an opportunity to be heard, and it's okay. And I'm glad that they are showcasing this on national television because it's so taboo. Like, oh my God, I ain't going to counseling. I ain't got to, I ain't going enough to shrink. What? No, it's needed, honey. It, it is. You need to talk to Jesus, and you also need to talk to people. It's important, and it's okay. It's time to have a vibe session with this new super group that I am not approving of with Fizz, uh, Ray J, and Boog. Everybody thinking they're just coming through to say hey, but no, Fizz done ambushed everybody. Fizz, uh, y'all know I love me a little Fizz lesson, but at the same time, Fizz, I don't agree with you bringing these two dudes together and they don't know what they're coming together for. Why did Ray J have his little T and his Harry Potter scarf? <laughs> I was ready for it. I was like, you are coming prepared, honey. Ray J said, I'm here to be like the new Amarion. Sir, you will never, okay? You're never gonna be Amaria. You're not gonna be him. Uh-uh, no. Ray J had the posters, Ray 2K, B2 Ray. Sir, it's too much. No, we're not putting that together. No. I'm gonna say one thing about one wish. Ray J's hustle, I'm here for it. That's how Ray J is where he is today with his hustle, his antics. I'm here for it. But you're not going to do this to this brand, honey. You're not going to do that. Mm -mm, no. Boog was basically talking about Amarion and Ray J saying, y'all were never as hot as B2K was when we left off. And I was like, first of all, sir. I'm not going to say that. We don't know that. Do you have numbers? Like, do you have the receipts? And you don't need to come digging for people, Boog. Boog, you just mad that Ray J was trying to come on in. Ray J did pump his little brakes a little fast. Pump your brakes, sir. Okay, you just can't come on in here. But, Boog, just say you a little salt. As a B2K fan, I was feeling a type of way, too. How you just going to come in the group making posters and T-shirts? No. Boog just wanted original members only, okay? And that's understandable. It's okay, sir. You're one of the original. They'll never be a J-Bug, boo. It's okay. When J-Bug was like, we don't need a fake MJ on the stage, I was rolling. I was rolling. And Ray J felt a type of way. Understandable. His was about this bag with his little fine little ass. He was sitting there like, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is not how I wanted to go. There's money on the table. Can we please make this money, please? And after that, child, I thought they were just going to bury the hatchet. We know Ray J ain't going to be in the group. But, um... Jay Boog wanted to make it very clear. Ray J was like, well, um, baby, it's going to be clear as a bell. Boog was like, well, I can come on over there and make it even clear for you. Hold up. This security came, and I was sitting here like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Willie, sir, Norwood, have a seat. Have a seat. 
sit y'all five dollar asses down. Have a damn seat. Over up. Oh my god, it was too much. I was sitting there like, y'all really gonna fight over this? Y'all gonna fight over that? Like it's, it's a little petty. It's it's not a little petty. It's very very petty. It's too much. Even Ray J was looking at Fizz like you can get this work too. I was like, oh my god. In your opinion, the biggest boy band ever. In your opinion, we're not talking about sales. It doesn't have to be all of that. Who is your biggest boy band? I'm gonna say for me, it was B2K. For me. Then after that, I'm gonna go with New Additional because New Additional was before my time. But then I got back into New Additional. But I'm gonna go with B2K because that was my generational. You know what I'm saying? Oh, then I'm gonna have to go into NSYNC too because that was my group, okay? NSYNC was my group. So I gotta know down below who's your biggest boy band. But let's get back into this review. Keisha Cole and Booby are finally getting their what? <gasps> my divorce! Joint custody with DJ. I think that's great that they can just, you know, be civil. Keisha in this all white fedora. Booby is so damn fun oh my god y'all know i love me some little fizz but booby he next up in the queue for me honey he is so cute hey, boo hey booby i see why brooke all cross eyed <laughs> they were so cute together though they were so cute oh they were adorable speaking of things that ain't working safari and ray j they're meeting up to talk about this whole b2k thing did safari have on a cape sidebar they were at a skating rink child i don't know you know what i want safari's facial expressions to be turned into memes specifically for me to use in my text messages Willie Ray J is mad over everything that happened with J Boog. Sir, just squash it and move forward. You have your own brand. Just keep moving forward, sir. You're not gonna be a B2K. Uh uh. Calm your little one wish ass down. Calm down. Safari ends up telling Ray J that he's moving back to New York to be closer to his family, and everybody gonna miss Safari. Everybody. I'm gonna miss Safari on this Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season. It's time for the showcase with all the R&B women. Donatella, she came to the back and told Masika and Brooke um, about themselves with Hazel Lee and how Hazel, she does not feel like she's safe. So she's not gonna be here. So you all are gonna be performing. I saw you pull that bitch's hair. I was like, pull it, pull it. But um, you all do great. <laughs> Masika called Hazel E. Pinocchio knows I was rolling. That shit was funny to me. Masika's performance. Um, I want to hear her acapulco. I really do. Acapella. Because all of that extra studio riffraff mumbo jumbo. I don't know if it's for real, for real her. Like, I want to hear for myself and say, yeah, that's Masika. Every time we hear it, she's like, yeah, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, oh yeah. I don't, uh, what? It was a Bridget versus Brooke girl fight. Bridget threw shots at girl fight. Brooke was like, girl fight still pay my bills, honey. Bridget was like, honey, I win Grammys. I don't have to take a song. I've been winning Grammys. I'm a, uh, 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 give me, see me. I'm about getting my bag. I'm about getting my money. I mean, money, money. I look like a bag of money. They kept going back and forth. It was like, nye, 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 nye. who came to who's man and blah, blah, blah. Then they get into who's salty. Bridget was like, you salty like these pretzels, bitch. And lightly tossed them at her. You know, they still have an agreement where they're not going to put those paws on each other. But I was like, hold up. You throw a bag of pretzels at me and the basket. Oh, it's going down. <sighs> Yeah, it's time for Brooke to perform. Um, I haven't heard anything from Brooke since Girl Fight. That's all I remember from her. So I need to hear a little bit more. The song was a little ying, 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 ying around the house. Bridget closed it. I liked the song, but Bridget, she been getting on my nerves lately. So I can't really connect with Bridget on a musical level just yet. But I like the song though. Here come Booby out of nowhere. I, child, he ends up going to Brooke's dressing room. I said, oh my God, giving her flowers. And she was like, you know, your girls on stage he was like who booby stays acting like uh, he don't know he said i ended up taking her to catalina dressing Be i mean you blame me though whoa brooke she was like did you dick her down i was like brooke ma'am did you want the dick or not nah? because apparently you wanted marcus's dick whose dick do you want i'm a little confused with brooke ma'am y'all supposed to be uh, mm -mm. No, clean it up, girl. Clean out too. Can we get clean up for her outburst? She was like, yo, I'm here for life with you. She was like, no more secrets. I was like, okay. Uh, okay. Both of them pretty much want each other, but it's not going to work. 
but they still want each other, but they're going to act like they're together, but they really not. That's their relationship, and we just going to have to deal with it. Child, I'm not going to analyze that either because I, I don't know. Fizz, Boog, and Ray J meet up. I'm already tired of them. I love seeing Fizz in every single segment he can be in, but I was sick of them, honey. Ray J was like, I felt like I was belittled. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be little. I had one wish. Sexy can I? Wait a minute. Like, I'm here. Boog was like, yes, you are. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't want you to feel like that. Ray J was like, yeah. So what we do from here? They were like, not shit. We ain't doing nothing. All Fizz, no bag was secured with B2K. Hopefully in the future they do it before, you know, all the bags are dried up for groups coming back. Okay, we'll see. Marcus and Brooke end up meeting up post-Hurricane Harvey. Um, he wants to see how she's doing. You know, her family was affected by Hurricane Harvey. And she really started putting a lot of things in perspective, especially with their relationship. And she ends up telling him, Marcus, I was so serious. And I felt like you weren't serious. And he was like, you want to know how serious I was? He he pulled out the ring. She was like, no, oh, Marcus. <laughs> she ends up going close to him. He was like, eh, bitch, back the hell up. We ain't ready. You ain't getting this ring. Mm -mm. I ain't taking it back yet, but we ain't here yet. No, but they really aren't ready. And I'm glad that he even said that. And I hope that she realizes that too. Honey, a ring don't change nothing. Marriage, child, it don't change nothing but your name at the end of the day, to be honest. It really does not. Unless y'all have that love for each other and that understanding, that respect and all that bullshit is out the window. Granted, you still gonna go through shit while you marry, but that little petty catty shit, uh-uh, you don't need to bring that into a marriage, honey. You don't. They need to start from the be the beginning, foundation again, and build back up. And you know what? If that's what she wants, okay. <sighs> oh, my God. I just see Pettyville in their future. I'm sorry. I just see it. It's time for Safari's Peace and Out Party. Honey, it was lit. I even want to be there in my all-white ready with Safari. I just enjoy Safari. Booby sees Bridget. He comes up to see her. I said, oh, shit. Nah. She even tells Zell, get your, get your little ass out of here. I need to talk to him. Why was Brooke invited to the Catalina Wine Mixer? What was that about? I felt like I was being played. He was like, you did? I love it when you talk to me like that. And that's how he got her back. Back into his good graces. I was like, yep, you were playing, boo. You, you were playing. I can't with Safari with Miss Nikki, baby. Can I hit it, please? One more time before a nigga leave. I was rolling. That was a little catchy, though. AD wants to speak to Monice at the party to the side. She misses her. I was like, you're, oh my God. Oh. She was like, you know what? Loving you was never difficult. That was the easy part, Monice. I was like, you better give her them pimp lines. Pimp down. She was like, that's all right. If you want to think about it, if you want this, you'll figure it out. And I was like, oh shoot Monice that was a good job saying let me think about it let me see what I want good job Monique okay Monique you better grow girl all these seasons of love and hip-hop she's been following after somebody it's good for her to finally say you know what let me let you be on ice for a second. Let me think about what I want. Hazel sees Ray J at the party. She is pissed because she thought, you know, Ray J, that's my homie. How you gonna play me like that? Ray J had to smooth it over. He was like, look, everybody gonna be haters. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta show you. I'm all about promoting people. And I was like, yeah, Hazel got this. I ain't apologizing for shit though. We also got to see why Hazel e acts like a monster, as she called it, because she feel like everybody always hating on her and throwing salt on her name and not putting no respect on my name. And I can understand that, Hazel, but at the same time, after a while, you gotta be tired of doing that all the time, being petty and posting this and that. Child, no. Ray J, we see how you smoothed that over. Tier Marie did not go to the um, Peace Out party. She's in the studio working on her music. And here comes Cisco Unleashed the Dragon looking ass. Cisco, hold the hell up. You didn't think she needed to go to rehab? Really? And at the end of the day, this wasn't about you, Cisco. He really thought this was about him. It's not about you, boo. This was about her. She had to go for her. If she didn't call your ass, that's okay. Leave it alone. Call a thing a thing and move forward without her. Where Tier Marie was, her space was totally off. So they couldn't really have a solid foundation foundation. Cisco, sir, you need to be honest. You were with two different chicks at the same time. Be honest. Like, that's why we look at you like you number one in the creep squad. You bouncing from coast to coast doing this. Stop it. You too old for this. You are too old. Then he ended up asking me how you feel about me now. I don't, nigga, bye. That's how she felt. And that's okay. Cisco, bye.
Bye. Then this finale ended up with the wrap up like they normally do. It was a good wrap up. I enjoyed it. Everybody had their space. They slowed down the footage a little bit so it looked like they were really in their own little element. I liked it. It was cute. I enjoyed the wrap up. Normally I hate the wrap ups but this one was actually cute. And then we go right into this reunion part number one. Down below in the comment section let's talk about this finale. What did you think about it? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless.